Are the public claims men aren't too much into astrology, my statistics there to show us otherwise. So I say welcome, grab a chair, and I suppose you're just in time. Because in the past year we've talked about the feminine duality, the moon phases and the intuition. But if that's not too clear to you yet, we're going to oppose it this year with the masculine duality, that instinctive, outgoing and energetic energy, which we need to balance out. And maybe men are balancing themselves out also, because on the internet a lot of times the phrase billionaires have astrologers is coming along. Because spirituality and abundance do go hand in hand. But note that I am not your astrologer, I am the one that's awakening the astrologer in you. Because you are your biggest asset, so invest in yourself most. As we're diving into week 23, which we start on Monday the 3rd of June. But I'll do that with a story time because I saw this video and it was talking about these 29 year to or 30 year old women who are online and nagging about I have achieved this, I am whole in this, I'm succeeded in this, but I still can't find a life partner, someone to go through life with. Love. Have I not in the past months told you that how simple it was for me to be knocked off my pedestal by a simple Cancerian boy? Well, probably because he was a Leo rising, but we'll dive into that. Either way, it's so simple to be knocked off your pedestal because are you healed? Are you whole? Are you sturdy? I was not healed. I was not whole. I was not sturdy. So maybe look at yourself in uh, in the eye and invest in yourself first because (laughs) we're going to buy life and astrology again because they say uh, scientifically life is 84 years, the life expectancy of a man of a woman. The Bible also says a life expectancy, a full life is 84 years. So in astrology, what has a cycle of 84 years? Uranus, the planet of how you evolve. And if we divide 84 by the 12 signs, Uranus will stay in one sign for seven years. And like I said in the houses video, the first three houses are the the springtime for personal development. So after those first three times seven, 21 years, we dive into the summertime, which is for personal outing. So that's where you go outside of yourself. But first, you're 21 and we dive into the fourth house, the Cancerian house of your comfort zone. And I hope no one has told you this is comfort from your 21st till your, until you're 28 years old, because that's where you still get sturdy. And when you're 28, we dive into the fifth house of taking risk, of going outside of yourself, expressing yourself, romance, ba- children even. But wait, after 20, uh, 27, 28, 29 years, we also have that Saturn return. So Saturn has been in every sign in the past 27, 28, 29 years. And it's asking you, are you healed? Are you whole? Are you ready? As it is the master teacher with all that karma coming up. So if I have, as I have told you this information, be okay. Be okay with where you are. Like I'm 29, so I just started into this system. It's okay. I'm good. But we uh, Monday, the 3rd of June, we start with Jupiter in Gemini, expanding the vision, expanding your perception, expanding your knowledge in a communicative air trine with Pluto in retrograde in Aquarius. So Pluto in retrograde, I find it difficult to empower. I find it difficult to feel in control of my knowledge, this new gained knowledge as Pluto went in, like new gained knowledge. Oh, and we're backtracking. So with all this new gained knowledge, how are you doing? Maybe talk about it. Find your people. As Aquarius, Gemini is the communicative sign. Share your knowledge and see what you can do with it. And maybe you do have to change your surroundings. As Gemini is your direct surroundings, your neighborhoods, your siblings, your nieces, your brothers, your nephews and stuff. And Aquarius is your peers. So your age mates, as my mama likes to say, your age mates, your um, the people you think alike with, your community. So change that, find new people, find new places as your mind has expanded. So maybe you do deserve some new people to communicate and to converse with and share your knowledge with. So they can also share information with you. Spread our information. Either way, later in the day, Mercury in Taurus. 
I possess this uh, this knowledge, I possess these thoughts, I possess these innovative thoughts, will be in a feminine sextile with Neptune in Pisces, I dream, I dream, all these dreams which we are going to make a reality, but Neptune is almost moving retrograde, so note that, either way, I possess uh, th this knowledge, you are a genius, Everyone has their own vision. Everyone has their own... Uh, remember, like uh, I said last week, I wanted to be a plumber. Could have gone so far. Like, oh, female plumber. Yeah, just ride it. Just ride it. And sometimes you just need to ride the wave of whatever you have. Like, uh, oh, female in, the, uh, in this uh, kind of profession. Do whatever you need to do, boo, to make your dreams a reality. Use those new ideas, use those, uh, those innovative thoughts as later in the day, Venus in Gemini. So I love, I think, I love my perception and your perception, your thoughts do create your reality. So let's just say I create this oh, with these thoughts in a masculine sextile with the North Node, where we're in Aries, where we're wanting to go to, where we want to see ourselves go to, how we want to present ourselves in the future. Create your reality with your thoughts, baby. You have all these innovative ideas with which you can build. Do something with it. As later in the day, Mercury will come home in Gemini. So with the dominant phrase, I think in Gemini, I think, I think, I think, uh, supremacy, Yes, act, you are supreme in your lane. So think it out. Go deeper. Go further. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, I was uh, I worked in a bakery, and in a bakery, okay, I know this is the type of flour you need for bread. This is the type of flour you need for pizza. This is the type of flour you need for pastries and stuff. But if I want to build my own bakery, maybe I also need to learn a little bit about ovens. So okay, uh, you, we have um hot air oven, we have the electric oven, we have the gas oven, get some, uh, get the knowledge uh, to us so you can expand, but maybe you also need to talk to other people because someone needs to plug those uh, ovens in, and if you don't really know about electricity, or you just know like the teeniest bit, like I need to switch something off before I go to work, right, right, get other people involved, there's nothing wrong with building your community, uh, yeah, you, your thoughts build your reality, but this was just Monday, the 3rd of June. Your thoughts create your reality. As we're up to Tuesday, the 4th of June, when Mercury will be in that same air trine with Pluto in retrograde, as everything that just enters Gemini will be... You know what, we'll talk about it. Either way, um, and later in the day, it will be in a conjunction with Jupiter, the expander of the thoughts and the perception Focus on your grind like Pluto is focusing on that grind. Like Pluto is very slow, right? So it's really grinding on that first degree. So that Aryan degree, that Aries degree in uh, in Aquarius. Your thoughts, your, you are your own genius. Go back to that. Like, oh, it feels difficult to maybe work with that feminine sextile on the inside change your perception because in dutch we have this such a lovely word but in english it's already taken we call it omdenken rethink but not like rethink okay i'm going to think about it again but like re don't think about it like okay i can only go this way no you can only also go this way you can also go this way you can also go like rethink your options we're going uh, because mm, later in the day wait focus on your grind like pluto's focusing on the grind because mercury in a conjunction with jupiter so this is my thought and i can go here i can go there i could go to i could stay in your lane don't be, get haste by your dreams later in the day the sun will be in a conjunction with venus yeah the sun is coming up to venus so i love what I create. I love my perception. And this is what I'm thinking about the whole time. If those song lyrics keep coming up to you, what do you do with it? Think. If an idea comes up to you the whole time, what do you do with it? I need to build a gym in my basement. Because do some I'm almost 30. I need to move this body and I'm not going outside and the basement is kind of like still inside, right? Yeah. Make it work for you. Whatever is most convenient for you, but let it out. Do something with it. 
on Thursday, the 6th of June, we'll have a new moon in Gemini. All these planets in Gemini. But this new moon in Gemini will be happening on 16 degrees. And 16 degrees is the Cancerian degree. And the Cancer, the mother, likes to nurture, likes to take care. And if you take care of something, it can grow, it can evolve. Nurture your thoughts. Because in Dutch, we also have this nice word called uh, geesteskind. The child of your mind. You have thought about it and you made your thoughts a reality. So this whole thing that you created is a child of your mind. Nurture it so you can see it grow. So you, so you can see it coming to fruition with this new moon. So what is that song lyric that is come, keeps coming up to you? And use that opportunity to grow. As we're going off to Saturday, the, the 8th of June. We have a lot to talk about, but I can't do this in 10 minutes either way. Saturday, the 8th of June, Venus will be in a neutral square with Saturn. So, Venus, I love these thoughts. I'm going to create with these thoughts. My thoughts are making my a reality. But as we're in this airy flow of Gemini, we'll be in a mutable water trine with, uh, with Pisces. So, Pisces, mutable waters. The emotions may go, the instincts may go like, yeah, but when I did this when I was younger, but when I did that one... This is a new terrain. This is a new ground. This is a new you. You have new skills. You have new perception. Go out, show out, and be there. Maybe you, yeah, change your perception. Rethink. Yes, when you were younger, no one, uh, no one took you serious, but that was because you were younger. Now you're older. Now you're wiser. Now you're strong. What are you going to do with it? Change your perception. And you may, as you have overcome so much, you have come so far. I remember like in Dutch, somehow I said uh, Gemini and uh, and Aries have a sex style because they're both like, you know what, I'm just going to go, yeah, me, it's all about me, uh, I'm just going to go, they have that childlike innocence just to say like, I, I, I was just trying, like I, uh, I failed, but like, you can always dust yourself off and try again, like Auntie Aaliyah said. Uh, oh. This too, when you find an obstacle, sorry, when you find an obstacle on your way, do not stop. Think around it because maybe you're already there. Maybe you're already at your destination. I don't see obstacles. I see opportunities. Uh -huh. Someone asked me like, Shimon, how can you talk about all your troubles and just press upload? I have these troubles. I have these issues and I know I'm not the only one. And if I put it out there. Maybe someone else can I can do something with it because carrying it on my shoulders is getting a little heavy. So maybe if I take it off, it's getting a little lighter. And voila fucking la. Sorry. <laughs> but voila. And you just have to realize you are not living in a fairy tale. You are living in the universe. It's action, reaction, world of duality. No action, no reaction. So yeah, do something with it or don't do something with it. But be for real. Sometimes you have to be a little bit the Lulu. But to make it come true, loo, loo, loo. so yeah, if it works, it works. If it don't work, dust yourself off and try again. Think around it. There's always an opportunity. Like, you don't have those troubles. Let's just say, I have these troubles. <laughs> Let's just end this week on Sunday, the 9th of June, as Mars will be entering Taurus. So Mars in Aries, I act on who I am, and as you're acting on who you are, the North Node and Chiron, ooh, I have these moves, Chiron almost moving retrograde, so that's why it's sideways, but <clears throat> North Node always moving retrograde, but um, yeah, I act on who I am, this is 100% you, the authentic you, what someone else wants to do, what you want to do, what you... be for real. Yeah, you have to be so for real sometimes. Either way, it's also those no non tangibles stick with it. As Mars is entering, uh, is entering Taurus, I act on what I possess. Act on it. You possess it anyway. Didn't ask for it, but yeah, might as well make the most out of it. Ooh. Later in the day, Mercury will be following in the masculine uh, sextile with the North Node. So I think. If you have an idea, like, okay, like, what did I want to say when I said, ooh? Um, I also was thinking, like, I always get hella fetishized. 
I, that's freaking annoying. And I think like, how can I use it in my advantage? Because, yeah, it's annoying, but you can also use it in your advantage. Umdenker, rethink, rethink. Later in the day, so, uh, yeah, you use your idea to create your future. Later in the day, whew, I'm so glad we can end this week on Sunday the 9th of June with the sun being in a mutable square with Neptune. So following in that mutable square, think about the new basics because, again, you have grown, you have experience, you have new skills and stuff. So you do kind of deserve to take in new space. And in that new space, uh, you have new basics because, let's say, you, st you well, let's say you started here. So this is the basic. This is where you take off. This is where you. This is your start position. But let's say you're here now, and this is your start position. It's a little bit higher. It may be a little bit windier. And when you get more wind, you may have a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, enemy, not enemies. You know what I mean. And boss. Either way. New basics. New approach. Think about it. Hmm. Is it one day that you're going to start, or is it day one of that you're going to start? With that focused discipline stay focused on that thing that you know that you want to uh, you want to bring into fruition and stick by it get the basics 